2023 has finally arrived, and it's going to be the year in which Harley celebrates its 120th anniversary. This means that we can expect some pretty amazing stuff to come out of the company. However, it also means that we might have to say goodbye to some bikes as they simply do not fit into the plan that Harley has in place for this year. In spite of the fact that we are just a few days into the new year, Harley-Davidson has already begun delivering 2023 models to retailers. The majority of these models are being brought back for 2023, but with updated color schemes, and they will help get dealers ready for Harley-Davidson's introduction on January 18th. The new colors and prices, such as the White Sand Pearl Road Glide ST shown above, are available to view on Harley-Davidson's website now, with no major modifications expected until 2022. There isn't much new to report about these reissued models, so hopefully, Harley-Davidson has something else up its sleeve for the big reveal. Regulatory records made public today reveal the upcoming release of at least four new Harley-Davidson motorcycles, in addition to seven 120th Anniversary Edition models. Vehicle homologation files in Australia confirmed the Nightster variation, along with two images of the car before they were publicly released. The vehicle identification number decoder adds further evidence that it will be sold under the Nightster special moniker. The RH975S will use the same 975cc engine as the Nightster, claiming 90 horsepower, according to information gathered in the United States and Australia. Photos reveal updated wheel designs, passenger seating, and a sleek black paint job with retro tank decals. Closer investigation of the RH975 Nightster's round instrument cluster reveals it to be an analog speedometer with an inset LCD, not a 4-inch TFT display like that seen in the Sportster S. If the Nightster Special comes with a TFT display, then its circuitry will likely be more advanced than those of the standard edition. Then we have the Harley-Davidson X350RA. While there is a mounting indication that the small displacement model Harley-Davidson has been developing with Chinese manufacturer Qian Jiang since 2019 is nearly ready for release, neither company has spoken anything publicly about the project. After some regulatory hurdles in China, it looks like the new model is set to go after we unearthed VIN data from Qian Jiang early in 2022, indicating a launch was imminent. The most up-to-date VIN information verifies the model's identity as the X350RA, and reveals the engine to be a 353cc liquid-cooled parallel twin rated at 23 horsepower. Moreover, the VIN registration verifies that the X350RA will be manufactured at Qianjiang's Wenling City, China facility. The X350RA's Chinese manufacturer and parallel twin engine are guaranteed to enrage Harley Purists. However, there are hints that the X350RA isn't designed for usage by average Americans. Similarly, Qian Jiang is rumored to be working on an X350 and X500 model for the Chinese market, both of which will use the same 500cc engine as the QJ manufactured Benelli TRK502 adventure bike, which boasts an output of 46.9 horsepower at 8500 rpm. It's curious that Harley Davidson only recorded VINs for the X350 in the United States. This, along with the inclusion of RA in the name, may suggest that it will not be available for general purchase but will instead be reserved for training purposes at the Harley-Davidson Riding Academy. This kind of thing has happened previously, with the Harley-Davidson Street 500 and Street 750. The 750 version was available to the general public, but the smaller Street 500 version was preferred for use at the Riding Academy. Given that the production of street models have been halted, the X350RA makes a good choice as the Academy's new teaching motorcycle. Tire information for the X350RA is now available on Harley-Davidson's service information portal. The X350, as stated in the manual, will come standard with Pirelli's small displacement commuter tire, the Angel CT, in sizes 110-70-17, 3.517 up front, and 150-60-17, 4.517 out back. In the new version, the X350RA is categorized among the Harley-Davidson X models, suggesting that this is the new brand umbrella for the X350 and X500. Then, we have the 2023 Harley-Davidson Breakout FXBR. Although the Breakout was still sold overseas up until the 2022 model year, it has been out of production for a while in the United States. According to the updated VIN decoder, the Breakout is returning to the United States with a more powerful Milwaukee 8 117 engine. The larger engine is the same 1,923cc displacement found in Harley-Davidson CVL models and the Lowrider S, Lowrider ST, Street Glide ST, and Road Glide ST. The breakout's return to the U.S. market with a jump in displacement is a significant surprise, 
as is the fact that it was previously offered with the 107 engine and as an S variant with the 114 engine. In spite of the lack of information provided by the VIN applications, we can safely assume that the new breakout will include more than just a larger engine. Finally, a new entry is going to be the Harley-Davidson FLHFB Electroglide Highway King. The FLHFB will be called the Electroglide Highway King, and it will be powered by a Milwaukee 8114 engine, according to recently revealed information from Switzerland. The FLHFB is notable because it will have 16-inch wheels shod with 90B1672H front and 180-65B1681H rear tires. Every but the Police Road King and Electroglide use 16-inch rear wheels, while the front wheels on all other Harley-Davidson Touring models are 17 inches or larger. Taking the original FLHFB as an example, the tall windscreen may account for some of the extra height beyond the 57.8-inch measurement. The inclusion of Highway King in the name may also imply a windshield design comparable to the defunct Road King. According to the Swiss paperwork, the total weight, with accessories and a 165-pound rider, is 1,014, thus the curb weight is probably closer to 849 pounds. That's not too far off from the Road Glide Special's weight, but it's still lighter than any model with a tour pack. Six models were previously reported to be part of Harley-Davidson's 120th anniversary celebration, and this number has now been increased to eight thanks to the most recent VIN decoder. The Heritage Classic Anniversary, Fat Boy Anniversary, Ultra Limited Anniversary, Street Glide SP Anniversary, Road Glide SP Anniversary, and Tri Glide Ultra Anniversary. While a CVO Road Glide Limited Anniversary model has not been added to the VIN decoder, it has been confirmed by registrations in Australia and Switzerland. In 2022, Harley-Davidson will bring back the majority of its models, but there will be a few notable exceptions. The 48 and Iron 883 are the last of the air-cooled EVO Sportsters to be discontinued. In addition to the Road King, Harley-Davidson will not offer the Electroglide standard in 2022. Due to their elimination, the Milwaukee 8107 engine is now only used in the soft tail standard Street Glide and Road Glide. In 2023, you may expect to see the full lineup of 114 vehicles, including the Road King Special. Harley is sure prepared to give us some amazing bikes this year, and we can surely say that this year's lineup is going to make roaring down the road more amazing. After all, it's Harley-Davidson, and everything that they put on the road is always up to the mark. So, that is all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time, folks.